Captain Paul Watson arrived in Melbourne uh, last week and uh, we went down to the ship to talk to him before he sailed out to the Antarctic and uh, I asked him what his main purpose was in going down there. The International Whaling Commission has never had any teeth to enforce any of its regulations. That's pretty much true of international law in general. That's why it's needed for non-government organizations like Sea Shepherd and hopefully other organizations to actually uphold those international conservation regulations. We've done so in the past and been arrested for doing so. I've been taken into court and I've used those regulations as our defense and I've been acquitted because uh, can the countries that we, for instance, in Canada where we were charged were signatory to those regulations. The problem is, is that governments spend vast amounts of money on uh, meetings and conferences and drafting rules and regulations, but they just don't have the political will to do anything about it. They're really just done as window dressing to make themselves uh, look like they're doing something. I think that the government's uh, really intimidated by Japan. Uh, you know, they're very aggressive in going after countries like Indonesia for illegal fishing, and rightfully so, but uh, the message that they're sending is that if you're rich and powerful enough, uh, we'll just turn a blind eye and let you do whatever you want. So uh, what Japan is doing is breaking Australian law by taking whales in the Antarctic Australian Territory. And uh, under Australian law, Australia has the obligation to defend the sovereignty of that territory. So what Australia has effectively done is surrender that territory to Japan. Might as well call it the Japanese Antarctic Territory now. Well, our objective is to intervene against their illegal activities and to harass, obstruct, and do what needs to be done to uh, sabotage their operations and prevent them from killing whales. We have to keep in mind that what they're doing is illegal, and we have a right to intervene against their illegal activities. Well, it would be very interesting if the Australian uh, government suddenly finds us within their jurisdiction and power to come down and intervene against us in Antarctic territory when they've refused to intervene against the Japanese for killing whales. I, I would find that quite an interesting uh, position uh, for the Australian government to be in. And he's a great campaigner. Look, Paul Watson was one of the founders of Greenpeace in the early 1970s, and, and their campaigns were just magnificent. And th they were really responsible for saving the world's whales. Paul left Greenpeace after a few years because Greenpeace felt he was a bit, I, I guess, a little bit more aggressive than what Greenpeace would have liked. But in that period of time, Neil, uh, Paul Watson has been responsible for sinking nine illegal pirate whaling ships mm -hmm. and, and there's never been anyone hurt. So he's a great campaigner, he cares about life and he saved a lot of whales in his time. There's one thing I don't understand, is that you've got Paul Watson going down there, you've got two ships from Greenpeace, and yet the Australian government, who sends out their warships, their Navy ships, to stop illegal fishing in our waters, and goes to the ex extent that if they don't stop, yeah. pass a shell over their bow, yet they don't do anything here. Why is yeah, that? I, I think two reasons. One, you've got a situation where when you've got illegal fishing boats in our waters, that within our 200 mile limit or 320 kilometre limit. With the whaling issue, it's outside of those waters. But Australia declared a sanctuary down in the Antarctic quite a few years ago, but the Japanese don't recognise it. And that's where the difference of opinion comes. We would like to see the federal government go down there, send the Navy down there, stop the Japanese whaling boats from operating in our Antarctic waters. And, uh, but I think with the federal government, they do not want to see an international incident loom up mm. in front of them. And I think they're, they're scared of the Japanese government at the end of the day. Even though we've got great policies on whales, Australia is one of the leading countries in the world for, for the protection of them. But I think they're scared of the Japanese government yeah. at the end of the day. And that, that's very sad. And that's why we need the Paul Watsons and the Greenpeaces going into the Antarctic to, to do battle with the Japanese uh, armada.